Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show a unique recipe of vegetable hummingbird. It is actually a flower but it is used as a vegetable. And today we are going to make fritters using these vegetable hummingbirds. It is so much delicious to eat and so easy to make. So guys, let's see the recipe. For making fritters, I have taken some vegetable hummingbirds. These are white color flowers but you may get the pink color flowers, they are also available. Now we need to get them ready for making fritters. So this is the stamen of the flower and we need to remove it. So I am breaking it and throwing it out. In the same process, we need to get all the flowers ready for making fritters. Let's keep it aside. And do the same thing with all the flowers. Remove the stamen and keep the flower aside. So all of them are done. Now we need to wash them. Let's wash them and get them back. So all of them are washed very nicely, very properly. And after washing, we need to remove all the water very carefully like this. This is the water removing process. There should be no water in the flowers because we are going to fry them in deep oil. So now we need to make a batter for making fritters. So I am taking a bowl. In the bowl I am taking some uh, besan. Besan means gram flour or chickpea flour as you call it. I am taking about 1 cup of gram flour. And now I am taking about 1 teaspoon of uh, carom seeds. I am crushing them in my palms. And now half teaspoon of cumin seeds. 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder. Half teaspoon of red chili powder according to taste. And half teaspoon of crushed garlic. You may take half teaspoon of crushed ginger as well if you like. And half teaspoon of salt according to taste. Now we need to uh, mix everything very well and after that we need to add some water gradually little by little. We need to make a lumps free batter. So we need to add water gradually. Don't add too much water at a time because we need to maintain the consistency of the batter. So I am adding water little by little and mixing the batter very nicely. And this is the consistency of the batter. Now we need to leave the batter for some time for about 10 to 15 minutes. So I am covering it and leaving it. After about 15 minutes I am uncovering it and now we need to add some baking soda. Uh, this is 2 pinches of baking soda and 1 uh, teaspoon of water. We need to mix the batter again very nicely. I am checking the consistency as well. I think it is thicker than before. So I am adding some water. About 2 teaspoons of water I am adding. And now we need to mix it again very well. After mixing our batter is ready. So now uh, let us go for making fritters. Here on the heater I have put some cooking oil for deep frying. I am checking the oil. We need a medium hot oil for these fritters. So I think the oil is medium hot and we need to keep the heat on medium. Here are our flowers and our batter. So now we need to take one flower and dip it in the batter like this. Holding the stem part of the flower. Don't dip the stem part of the flower in the batter because we are not going to eat it. So in the same process we need to dip all the flowers in the batter and add them in the oil. Don't add too many flowers in a single batch. I am adding about 4 to 5 flowers in a batch. And after that, after frying for some time, uh, when the lower part of the fritters are uh, lightly fried, we need to flip them like this using a fork or a spoon. We need to fry them from both sides evenly on medium heat and make a light red color. And all of the fritters are done. They are fried from both the sides very nicely and it is a nice red color. So now I am removing them from the oil. We need to drain the oil nicely and take them out. In the same process, we are going to make all the fritters. 
just dip the flour in the batter and add it in the oil and fry them on medium heat until a nice red color. So, let's do the same thing for all the rest of the flowers. Let them be fried behind the camera and I'm going to show you the fritters after frying. So, our fritters are ready. They are so crispy and delicious. You may enjoy them with ketchup or mayonnaise or tea or coffee, anything as you like. They are so much yummy, so don't forget to try them and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. bye.